How do I create a new script inside of Unreal Tournament 3? Well, there's one thing you need to keep in mind before creating a new script, and that is scripts reside inside of packages. So we'll have to deal with uh, folder structures a little bit to create the proper folder structure in order for all of the scripts to be stored and compiled correctly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start inside of the Unreal Tournament 3 folder that is found within My Games. So to follow along, you'll need to go to the uh, Documents and Settings folder for your current user. Make sure you're up under My Games under the Unreal Tournament 3 folder. Inside of this folder, you'll see that we have three other folders, one of which is UT Game. So we'll jump into the UT Game folder. And inside of here, we're looking for a folder called SRC. If you don't have a folder called SRC, you'll need to create one because this is where Unreal is going to be looking for packages to compile. So we're going to jump inside of this SRC folder. And you'll notice that inside of here, everything is blank. That's because we have not yet created any packages to be compiled. In order to create a package or indicate that there is a package here for compilation, we need to create a subfolder. So I'm going to create a new folder, and we need to name this folder based on how we would like our package named. For this example, I'm simply going to call this test package. And this will be the name of the package that gets created after the script is compiled. Now, inside of this test package folder, we need to create one more subfolder because, of course, packages can contain many different types of content. We need to indicate that, all right, this part of the package is going to be for script files. And we do that by creating a classes subfolder. So I'll create yet another folder and call this classes. And this indicates that, okay, this part of the package is what is going to contain the actual script files. So if we jump inside of the, the uh, new classes folder, here is where we can create all of the script files that we would like to go inside of this package. And this follows the rule where each script file represents precisely one class inside of the game. And as a matter of fact, there's a uh, naming structure you need to follow where you have the file name represents the class name followed by the extension .uc. So what we're going to do is we'll create an actor called test actor for this example. So I'll make a new text file. We'll begin with a text document, but I'm going to name this testActor.uc. And this properly indicates that this is in fact a class that Unreal should compile. Now I'm actually going to jump inside of this file and add one line to, in, to create an actual class. What we're going to do with testActor is simply extend the base actor class. So just to give an example of a compilable class, I'll open up this UC file in a text editor, and I'll begin at the very first line by extending actor. So we can say that class test actor extends actor, and then put a semicolon for a terminator. Now this one line will indicate that this should be a new um, subclass of actor called test actor, and also note that our class name here matches the file name test actor. So I'll save this file and we can exit out of the text editor. And now what I need to do is we need to indicate to Unreal Tournament that it should be looking at this folder specifically when it goes to compile things. Meaning that if we were to leave things as they were with this folder structure and file created and tell the game to compile, it simply wouldn't find the folder because it has not yet been told to look for the test package folder. It's only going to look for ones that it's configured to compile. So in order to do that, in order to indicate to the Unreal Engine that we would like to have this package compiled whenever we run a compile operation, I'm going to jump up a few folders back up to the UT game folder found within Unreal Tournament 3. Inside of here we have a config folder and that has several any files in it. I'm going to open up the file utEditor.ini and we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom, very near the bottom of this file, we should find a section called Mod Packages. Um, it may be easier simply to search for this name, but just remember that the name of this section is Mod Packages. And you see we have two configurations set up here, one of which is pointing at the SRC folder. That's actually why we put those that subfolder within SRC, is this is the folder which it's been configured to go look in and compile. Now what we need to do is to indicate that inside of that source folder we have a, sp a specific package we would like compiled. And we do that by adding mod packages lines. So I'm going to add a new line here called mod packages equals test package. And make sure that all the casing is correct. 
and this indicates that we would like the Unreal Engine to compile the test package when it goes through and performs the compile operation. If for some reason you need to compile multiple packages, you can simply keep, you know, you can add as many uh, mod packages lines as you need. Just keep adding these lines for each package that you need compiled. So within, with this in place, we'll make sure that we hit File, Save on the utEditor.ini file, and with that, that has our test package and our new script ready for compilation. So that is going to wrap up this How Do I video.